guys, it's Garland from Texas Street Cars in the shop today. We have our 1978 Chevrolet C10 Big 10 Silverado, like 9,000 badges, trim. So we're kind of going over all that stuff on it. I really dig this truck. It's got a slick look, stance is nice, and it's got a little uh, bonus power plant here than what we normally have with a small block 350. But this one has a 383. We'll get into all that in a minute. But uh, start, the truck started off as a Big 10 package, had the upgraded heavy duty suspension, front stabilizer bar, all the little stuff that comes in that package. Um, power windows, power locks, silver auto package, all the trim on it, rear sliding window, tilt, AC, all that stuff is a factory option. We have the little RPO code still. It's off the fender well. We have it in a, a folder. Um, exterior of the truck is black. Interior is the buckskin tan. It's been repainted at some point in its life. I'd say it's a little above driver quality paint. It does have some flaws here and there, but overall, paint's really nice, really shiny. We just got done polishing out. We had the PDR guys come through and PDR the truck. So really slick, nice, nice clean finish on it. All the trims in place and some spots on the trim, you can see where the black's a little wearing off a little bit. But all that, that trim is there, the badging's there. The front grill's nice, it's got the factory front chrome bumper still. The rear bumper's the, the chrome step bumper, that, like the little aftermarket one. Um, glass is in good shape, it has the, the AM FM stair as well with the window antenna. Uh, after we got the truck, it was all stock ride height. All the square buys we had, I think we've, this is the first one we've lowered. So most of them are already lowered by the time we buy them. So, it has a Megahi's four six or four and a half six kit on it with a flip kit, weld-in C notch, Beltec shocks all the way around. Um, we went with American Racing full polish salt flats on this. They're twenties all the way around, two seventy fives in the back, two forty five in the front. Um, after the suspension was done, we kind of finished buffing up, cleaned up. Uh, had a new bed liner put in it. Bed liner's really nice, good finish on it. Um, it has a three eighty three, like we're talking about, with all the receipts for it, aluminum trick flow heads, a crane cam. Edelbrock intake, Holly four barrel on it. Um, long tubes, it has a new stainless steel X-Pipe pipes exhaust that runs out the side and you can kind of see in the pictures. The exhaust sounds good. It's got kind of a different sound than you used to hearing on a square body with that X-Pipe. So I really like that part. It's all nice and tucked in there good. Um, truck rides good. It is you know, a lowered pickup truck, but it really does ride nice on the highway. This is the Hydro Boost brakes on this truck. So the braking system feels a little more powerful. Uh, steering's good on it. We'll go drive it here in a little bit, but all the trim, the taillight trim, all that stuff's in nice shape. The cab band's really nice. You can see kind of the rear sliding window trim is nice. A lot of trim on this truck. Interior-wise, the seat's been redone at some point. It's got some uh, newer carpet in it. The tilt still works. A newer dash looks like. And the uh, uh, gauges work, gauge lights work, radio works. The AC is an old air products, kind of half of their system. It has their compressor and front condenser. AC blows really good in this truck. Heat works. And uh, it does have some good power, that little 383 and aluminum heads and stuff. So we'll go drive around the block. If you have any questions, give us a call, 254-383-3517. And uh, so as the tailgate fan, I don't too, I forgot to mention that. So give us a call if you have any questions, we'll go take this around the block. the truck around the block after Jason boiled the tire in it so as you can see it has some uh, some way more power than just a little regular 350 we're used to in these trucks uh, a couple things we didn't talk about inside is it was a it is a factory dual tank truck both tanks work the fuel gauge works speedometer works but I forgot to mention the dual tank so driving this truck the exhaust is being here in the video it's it's got some sound to it when you're in the throttle, but just cruising around at low speeds and stuff, it's, it's not obnoxious. 
Uh, there's a little stall on this transmission when it was built. It's got a shift kit. It hits second pretty hard. So, <clears throat> steering on it, is, it feels good. Let me show you the brakes here. Brakes are very... Uh, Turn on this radio. Sounds good, still still works, still lights up. Um, <clears throat> this is our normal little bumpy road. So this truck's low, but it's not undrivable or anything. We hit some bumps. It rides pretty good. I like the steering of this truck. We've had this truck, we've driven this truck a little bit over the last couple weeks while we're still been finishing it up. And uh, it'll, it has the, we're having the 700 R4, it's got a, you can get up on the highway. We've run 80 miles an hour down the highway in this truck. So it drives really good on the highway. Steering wheel's in pretty good shape. Interior, I'd say the interior's kind of, you know, it's not a show truck by any means. The dash is, a, is newer, so it looks nice, but so there's some little wear spots on some of the door panels and stuff like that, but overall, solid interior. It's not falling apart. Glass is in good shape, and I really like the power of this truck. So we'll kind of get on the gas here a little bit. Spun so much, we knocked the glove box open. We'll turn the AC on. AC works good in this truck. We'll jump up on the highway, highway real quick with it. So obviously good power of this 3A3. The truck really drives good. Temps right at 210. Uh, we just had the car recently tuned and everything. So we with the AC on that stop sign. You can hear it park second gear with the shift kit. And that's like not even half throttle. It's up to 60 or so. so. Truck goes good down the highway. AC works really good here. I really dig the look of this truck. It's hard to beat the look of a black C10 with all the trim on it, especially with the polished wheels. This is the first time we've done the salt flats on one of these trucks. I think it fits the look of the truck with all the polish. 